Chapter 19, that's our reading for this morning. Appreciate, as always, you joining me as we begin a, a new week in the Word of God. Luke 19, listen to verse 28, as we have here described Jesus's triumphant entry into the city of Jerusalem. It says in Luke 19, verse 28, after he had said these things, he was going on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. And when he approached Bethphage and Bethany near the mount that is called Olive, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you. There, as you enter, you will find a colt tied on which no one yet has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you untying it? You shall say, The Lord has need of it. So those who were sent away and found it, just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt. Its owner said to them, Why are you untying the colt? And they said, The Lord has need of it. They brought it to Jesus, and they threw their colts on the colt and put Jesus on it. As he was Going, they were spreading their coats on the road. As soon as he was approaching near the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd, the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the miracles which they had seen, shouting, Blessed is the King, glory in the highest. I'm sorry. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Verse 39 says, Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But Jesus answered, I tell you, if these become silent, the stones will cry out. Obviously, here we see the fulfillment of prophecy to the detail. Again, pointing to just the divine nature of Scripture, the cohesiveness, and the harmony of Scripture. But I want you to focus on what we see there in verse 39. As the Pharisees are following Jesus as well, we know how dishonest they were. We know how blind to self, blind to Jesus they were. And they asked Jesus to rebuke his disciples as a result of what they were joyfully chanting and screaming with a loud voice. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace and heaven, glory in the highest. And Jesus responds, listen, you yeah, if I tell you, if these become silent, the stones will cry. And ultimately, what Jesus is saying is really, regardless of your reaction to this, it doesn't change the truth of the matter. And it's true, isn't it? Here's my takeaway. You know, failing to acknowledge Jesus as King of Kings doesn't change the fact that he's still the King. He's still the King. Let's pray again. Father in heaven, Father. We praise you and give you all the glory, Father. Father, we stand in awe of our King of Kings, his love for us, his willingness to die for us. May we never forget this. May we live in light of it. May we tell others about it. Give us courage. Give us opportunities in this, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.